In this video, we'll go over some of the exciting updates that we made to the DP platform in the month of March. Uh, so the first thing that we did is we added the theme tracker app. So at the very bottom uh, of your ad apps, you can now drag in what we call a theme tracker. It's an app that is um, curated by the DP team and its co-founders. Uh, we look at themes in the market, both current themes and the future ones that we feel um, you know should be, are justified to, to track and will continuously add and subtract uh, from this theme tracker. It's you know it's curated by the team and it's part of your subscription um, as well. So in the theme tracker, you can see things from a one day, one week, one month, and a year to date perspective. So if we go to year to date, we see that miners, China internet and energy has have been working this year, right? Which gives you a clear picture of what is working this year. And then if you could go, you know, if you're a shorter term trader, you could see what's working today or what's seeing rotation or which uh, themes are seeing rotation into them. So very powerful will always be curated and updated in terms of the themes that we track. Uh, that way you will know you know, what's working in the markets and uh, what isn't working in the markets as well. So the different time frames help you do that uh, and they give you a clear picture uh, as well. The second thing is if I go to the watch list and uh, let's say we delete a stock from a particular watch list, we could delete CRSR for example, and I click delete, you'll see that the new notifications UI has a undo button and if I click that, the action is then reverted and the stock stays on the watch list. So the notification system got a undo button uh, so that, you know, if you change your mind over the, the next three to five seconds, you can revert that change and keep the stock in your watch list. The next thing that we did was with uh, the data panel. So just like we have a resizer for the charts where you can resize uh, down or to the left, the charting module, you could now do the same with the data panel as well. Uh, this has created quite a surf. So we've uh, looked at some of the feedback uh, where we will continuously improve this, where you could still go to the two column view if you want, right? You could stay in the two column view or you could slide it back to one column depending uh, on what you want to see in terms of more data or less data. The next thing that we did was the whole experience in the data panel itself now matches some of the other column sets and uh, uh, other experience. Uh, you know, similar to, for it to be similar with the other uh, pop outs that we have from the right side, uh, you can now simply drag and drop. We've added some UI elements to that to make it really, really easy to track where your elements are being dragged with the blue line. Uh, we've made it easy. Uh, we brought the new search experience that we have had um, in multiple places in our app to the data panel um, as well. We've added a new button at the very bottom of this, which is the save as new button so that you could copy a data panel and save it as a new one um, or save a copy of the same data panel essentially um, and uh, modify things that way. So in terms of UI, it's got a lot of updates. There are more coming after initial feedback that we received uh, to make this even better and uh, especially make it work on bigger screen sizes. The next thing that we did uh, for the DP app last uh, in March is to add increasing institutional ownership data so if I go ahead and search increasing institutional ownership um, underneath the screener, um, you'll see that we now have increasing institutional ownership for uh, two, three, four, all the way up to uh, nine, eight quarters. Uh, you could do that, or you could search for increasing insider ownership over the last eight quarters as well. So we have fund ownership data that we added in February. In March, we added the increasing institutional ownership and the increasing insider ownership data. We also added two new presets. So we have high institutional ownership screen as added as a preset. We have high insider ownership, increasing insider ownership and increasing institutional ownership as well. Uh, another preset that we added uh, based on popular demand was the momentum leaders underneath the DPU uh, folder. That's one you could check out for yourself uh, as well. This one was uh, a great tutorial by Richard on the YouTube channel if you haven't checked that out um, just yet. Under watch list, we made some updates and added the watch list preset for the 2024 model of stocks from Trade Alliance. Uh, so there's 20 stocks and that list is now available. We also have lists from 2018 all the way to 2023 uh, that are also present in the platform. Some minor updates to wrap this up. Uh, wrap this up. Uh, you can now create a new screen from the bookmark uh, area at the very right of your bookmark screen. So you'll see an icon. You click that icon and you can create a new screen. That's a small update uh, we uh, got. We embedded the share to X to be underneath this export. So that consolidated some of the icons uh, there. And then the last update that we made was some hover effect right here. As you go through and mouse over your presets, you'll see 
this subtle hover effect. So UI, UX remains uh, a focus for us into Q2. There are many more amazing updates, especially to the data panel uh, that are coming up, uh, like seeing the earnings and sales table within the data panel so you don't have to go elsewhere. And then not having you know uh, users add multiple quarters of data, uh, whereas we're making all of that one click. So stay tuned for the updates in April. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let us know in the comments on what you want to see next uh, in Deep View, or if you have a feature request, I'm more than happy to take a look and make that part of our roadmap. So thanks so much for watching. I hope you guys found this useful and I will see you in the April recap.